now Marvel's Jessica Jones is the second female-led television show. What drew you guys to Jessica Jones in particular? Well, first of all, the source material is so awesome. What, what Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Gatos created uh, is nothing short of extraordinary. She's a, a fully formed, real character from the beginning. Um, but I think when we started talking to Netflix about the characters that we were doing, I was really interested in the street level heroes, in the characters that aren't necessarily here to save the universe the way the Avengers are, but more likely to save the neighborhood. Uh, and when we started talking about Daredevil, we started talking about Daredevil as a, a crime noir story. And people were like, hmm, what's, what does that mean? And, and we said, well, when you see it, it, it's more of a crime story than it is a uh, superhero story. Uh, but when we got to Jessica Jones, one of the things that we first started talking about was that it, it was much more of a psychological thriller. Uh, that the kinds of films that we were that we were inspired by were, were things like Silence of the Lambs, um, and that this was really a chance to introduce a new character and a whole new set of characters to the Marvel audience uh, in a brand new way, in a way that was both terrifying and thrilling, in a way that had adventure but also had a light touch of humor at the same time. And then when you have a cast that begins with Christian Ritter and then add to it David Tennant as Kilgrave, our villain, you know, Mike Coulter who plays Luke Cage. Um, you know, it just goes on and on from there. And, and we're just so proud of what we were able to accomplish by telling a story about so many heroes when you begin are sort of fully formed. They know what it is that they want to do. They know that, that you know, justice needs to be upheld or injustice needs to be fought against. Um, and, and Jessica, when our story begins, is broken. Um, she's had a terrible experience. It's what you learn about in the series. And I think right now, a lot of people can relate to that. They can relate to that it's a difficult time out there. And yet they somehow are able to pick themselves up and move forward and, and really triumph on the day. And that's what Jessica does. Uh, and I, I think that's something that people can really relate to. Now, you're the man who's kind of behind everything, right? Because you're one of the few people who really gets to see what's happening on the Daredevil set. You get to see what's happening with Jessica Jones. You get to see what's happening with Marvel's Luke Cage, which isn't even here yet. Uh, what is it like holding all of those properties together, sort of, and making sure they all fit? Well, I, first of all, I have a fantastic team of people that you know includes Dan Buckley and Alan Fine, and I think you were talking earlier to Joe Casada, and so a lot of those people are really good at that sort of thing. Uh, and then, you know, the, the gang themselves that, that works in Marvel Television, you know, Jim Corey and, and Kareem Zarek and uh, Sam Thomas, and, it, you know, the list goes on there as well. So it, it, I, I'd like to say I have a lot to do with it, but it, it very much is a big team. Uh, what we always try to do is to find the best writers, get the best actors, try to get the best crew that we possibly can. Shooting here in New York has been nothing short of extraordinary. The city has opened its arms to us. Um, we shoot here on the streets, we shoot in the alleys, we shoot in the subways, we shoot up on the rooftops. I, you know, it really, New York is a character in the show and it's important to be here to do that. Uh, and so I think all of those things go together and, and hopefully make a show you know, you, people say it all the time, which is, this is like nothing you've ever seen before. And I think it's very f fair to say to everybody, this is like nothing that you've ever seen before.